She made me stand in front of the whole school and tell the school why I'm waiting for marriage before I have sex. Sure. I mean, that didn't necessarily make me the coolest kid in the school. That obviously opened me up. But what it did do is I had to defend my faith quite early. Hello, Wisdom and Wellness family. Welcome to season four of our podcast. Who knew we would actually get here? And I'm so excited today to start the episode or rather the season with someone I greatly admire. In fact, my first um, event that I ever had, she was like the main, main speaker. (laughs) And she's a content producer, speaker, musician, TV producer. You might have seen her on Yo! TV if you were old enough. (laughs) If you're old enough. And I'm sitting with Rory Sang Tandeki. Hello. I actually remember that event. Do you remember it? I do. I was wearing a floral pink dress. I don't remember your dress. Yes. But what I do remember is your your content, what you spoke about. Yeah. And you spoke on Psalm 23. Sure. And you broke it down in a way. (laughs) I was just like, where did she find what what it's one of my favorites it's one of my favorites do you remember what you said i think that day i was talking about accountability and just the truth um that um i think my parting shots were if we don't expose where god has taken us and the truth of the journey is taking us with we give people false we give them false gospel sure we give them the the season four gospel instead of what season one looked like. Sure. Right? And yeah. then if you understand what Psalm 23 is, then you'll understand that God has taken you from somewhere. Yeah. And that you are responsible to share that. Sure. You're not responsible the, to share that. Not just the glory. And that's what Jesus, this Jesus, that is all about. Hey, man. Ma'am, can we talk <laughs> about that movement? What is what is going on? What is happening? Where does it come from? It comes from nowhere. Okay. Um, uh, I work <laughs> quite a lot. So I do like, I call myself a night shift and a day shift yeah. uh, person. So I was basically doing radio in the evenings and um, I do television and other stuff during the day. And, and this I, is not like gospel stuff. No, this is just like corporate. This is, this is yeah. television. Vision. This is not necessarily within the gospel space. And I had had a very long week and the Holy Spirit was just nudging me with saying, it's the foolish things. And I kept on saying, why am I? And I'm like, I just want to sleep. It's the yeah. foolish thing. So I just woke up and I wrote, it's the foolish. Th- God said to tell you it's the foolish things. That's what I typed. Then I was like, mm, but not everybody who follows me is Christian. Yeah. So they probably won't understand what the context. Yeah. So I then screenshot the 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 scripture uh, in First Corinthians and I put it on and I'm like, okay, cool. I'm sleeping. Then somebody DM'd me, I think maybe an hour later saying, why am I always talking about Jesus and whatnot? Then I said, hey, man, sweetie, what's that king? <laughs> oh, la, la. <laughs> My dear. Okay, Jesus, just Jesus that. Okay. Eh? And then, I fell asleep again. Then I woke up and I was like, guys, also it's okay for you to unfollow somebody if yeah, you feel like the content is that. not the one. Yes. Yeah. And I was like, Rebo Jesus, this Jesus, that. Mm-hmm. Then people started changing their profiles and bios and 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 that's how it started. Me and my little brother um, went to be printed t-shirts because I was just trying to like rub it in their faces, quite frankly. Um, <laughs> and everybody started requesting the t-shirts and I could just feel that the Holy Spirit was just saying, it's not, I'm not in the business of, 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 of making t-shirts. I think that's not what it was about. And everybody sure. was like, oh, I want the t-shirt. Mm. And I was like, nope. It, what's the heart doing. behind it? What's yeah. the message behind it? And I was like, Lord, we want people to know you. We want we want to spread your word as best as we can. We want to represent you, but we also want you to be known as the answer yeah. to our generation. Um, and and that's basically the birth of Jesus. This Jesus that the same day, I went and I booked Joburg Theatre. Had no out of my idea. Own pocket. Out of my own pocket, I was like, okay, cool. Here we go. It's done. What date do you have? Thirty first. That's the date. We're going. And I literally waited five days before the 31st to say that there's something. Um, I wanted something that was accessible, that people didn't have to pay for, mm. uh, yeah. that your stress must be how to get there. If you are a student and you don't have money, it's the Uber or get a friend with a car to drop you off. I remember even the, the fly was no lineup, no hype, yeah, just no. Jesus come through. And that was intentional. That was, um, I, I guess I just felt that uh, over the years and over just how, I mean, we, we commercialize and we, we've got a package and it's good. Excellence yeah. is great, but the focus needed from the get-go to be about God. Jesus, and that's it. That's it. So, And if that's not a selling point <laughs> enough for you to move wherever you are, get in your car, drive, make a point, come, then there's no 
gospel artist or my face or anybody else that can move you, you know. Um, yeah. And I felt that that the name Jesus should be enough. That yeah. we're we're, we're word uh, based, you know. We believe in what the Word of God says. We believe in a Jesus Christ that saves. Um, and if that's not enough, then hey, maybe that's not for you. But yeah, that's how it basically came about. I mean, I'm gonna just address. I don't know if it's even an elephant in the room, okay. but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you recently were on a television show. I didn't watch it. <sighs> And you were called schizophrenic. I was called schizophrenic. It's D D D. I was called backwards, <clears throat> lost. Backwards. Uh huh. I have no identity. I. Hey, there was a lot, man. Some of them were said in Zulu, so I was just like, hey, translate it. But you know what was the best part? <laughs> well, the best thing that came out of that for me. Yeah. Um, because I didn't watch the show, so I, I obviously just you watched saw the snippets in between. You saw the I, the blow up, and it was on Twitter. And everyone was saying, oh my gosh, she's got, she's, how is she so calm? How is she so calm? How is she yeah. so calm? And then everybody came with the scripture, well, she's got self-control. And yeah. It's a fruit of the spirit. Yeah. And that's yeah. when I knew, it was, okay, cool. You know, even in everything, there's purpose behind it. Absolutely. So now I'm going to ask you, why did you decide um, to partake in a conversation like that? Because you, you didn't have to. I you didn't couldn't, have to, yeah. You would have decided, I'm not signing these forms. You yeah. can't release this. Why was it important for you to be almost exposed like that or insulted like that? Yeah, I think every time there's conversations about faith um, and Africanism, there's always a, 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 a resistance. Mm. And the first natural thing for us to do is to want to defend, right? I want to defend the faith, but I think what we tend to do is to defend it from a point of um, making the next person uncomfortable about who, uh, who or they what are. they believe, yeah. right? And yeah. and and I believe in Jesus Christ, yeah. and that's a solid foundation for me. Um, but I also know that Jesus has called me for such a time as this. Mm. I also know that Jesus said that he was persecuted. I also know that he said, go into the world because they don't know. Yeah. And that in the world, there are systems that exist. So I cannot go to somebody and go, everything about you, everything that you've believed, mm. everything your grandmother and everybody in your life that you've known is wrong and what I'm doing is right. Mm. That, that Jesus didn't sound like that. And I don't think Jesus has called us or God has called us to to go to spaces where we belittle people, we make them feel bad for what they've believed. Absolutely. But he he's called us to give him as the answer yeah. to the solutions yeah. or the problems that they're facing. Um, and I think that's the tone. Be the light. That I went into. Yeah, mm. people must see Jesus' love. They must see his goodness. They must see him as a hope, not as a well-educated, articulated speaker. Yeah, yeah. Or right? a basher. Or a basher. Or I was great at debating. It was like, yeah. no. That's why I kept on saying, Daddy, not to insult you, all, <laughs> but I still believe in Jesus, yeah, you know, yeah. to say, yeah, it's cool but for I you. Actually, I actually believe in that. And I've had this conversation quite a few times. I'm, I, I mean, I did religious studies in school so yeah. because... I'm genuinely in, interested in other religions and other people's beliefs. And yeah. For me, it's it's encouraged me more in my faith, in my Absolutely. Christianity. Yeah. And I've always found that in us um, attacking other people, or it, it's a it's an insecurity in us not yeah. being secure enough in our own God. Yeah. So I love what you're saying is that we can we have to take the gospel. Yeah. But we don't have to shove it in people. We don't have to hurt other I'm, people I'm in the I'm not the process. Holy Spirit. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not the Holy Spirit. That's the job of the Holy Spirit, to yes, convict man. hearts, yeah. to reach. My job is to talk about the goodness of the Lord, the that he is a God. savior, yeah, yeah. right? That there is no other, that he's the way, the truth, and the life, that there is no other way to get to heaven but through Jesus Christ. That could offend someone, yeah. but I can't sit there for two hours and convince you. No. Right? That's the work of the Holy yeah. Spirit. But my responsibility or my partnership with God is to be the hands and the feet that moves to 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 move this gospel. So I think once feet. once you understand that, uh, it comes easy. the pressure <laughs> becomes lesser yeah, and less lesser. Yeah, it's not your job to convert no. and have make and people it look can tell the difference. Hundred percent. I think, and that's what a lot of people saw in that interview. Mm. They saw a lot of preparedness. Mm. They saw a lot of bullying. Mm. They saw a lot of this is what I've known all my life, and I'm going to tell you that you don't have an identity. I'm like I'm like sir, you don't know me. You met me for five minutes. You are telling me I don't have an identity. Sure. Ah. Which like, kind of power did work? you get? Ah, when did you arrive to that <laughs> yeah, conclusion? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. must be God yeah. to come and say that to me. So I think less of the debating, but more Jesus. More Jesus, more yeah. love. Joyce, <clears throat> Joyce Meyer, she once was telling a story. I grew up, I love Joyce Meyer. Yeah. And something that stuck with me that she said was, the problem now is... And I just think even in, in, in context to so many things is that we want to clean out the fish before we catch the fish. Absolutely. What does that statement mean to you? And in your journey, 
um with your relationship with yeah. yourself with your with with your god and yeah. with your religion yeah um uh, uh, don't lie <laughs> Yeah, I think I think the problem with us um, is that uh, you know once when, when the Lord has done the good work in us is that we forget. The Bible says, "Forgetting not all that He has done." Yeah, right. So not forgetting helps you have empathy. Yes, not forgetting helps you have a remembrance of uh, how wretched you were when mm. Jesus found you. Mm. It helps you remember how flawed. Mm. In fact, it every day reminds you that you fall short of God's glory. It's by the workings and the doings of Jesus on the cross that gives you the right to have entrance to God, right? Sure. That God can say, as I see Christ as how I see you, yeah. not because you've done not anything, because your works. not because you are Jesus is Jesus that, or <laughs> you are on a pulpit. No, no, no. Because it's the grace of God. Mm. Um, so be careful not to get out of that grace sure by looking sure. at his creation be careful and not the, to get out don't of get that out of the grace, grace. Yeah. Don't get, so jesus says i came for everyone mm. i can't persecute the people that jesus came for sure what does that make me mm. yeah i can't i can't speak down on the people that jesus what does that make me mm. which team am i in right <laughs> yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah like who, who am i working for <laughs> yeah you know? so i think i think it's that it's being clear on the mandate and i think sometimes you know when i hear a statement like that is is we're so happy to be in the boat we're so happy to have the fishing rod we're so happy to be above and the fish below us that you forget that 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 the ability to go fetch the fish is because christ was with them sure so you you know i'm, I'm reminded of, of simon peter and the disciples and they're like jesus we've toiled all night we didn't catch anything it's only at the arrival of jesus mm. that they become fishermen of mm. men Mm. It's only at the arrival, it's at the presence of Christ mm. that they were able to. So if you remove Christ, then what fish are you catching there's even? There's no more fish to catch. No, you are fish yeah. self. You, you, you are back. You need to you are be back caught. in the water. Yeah, we, need <laughs> you need to to be caught. we need to get you out. <laughs> yeah. It's more like a saving. You don't need yeah. to save you. Yeah. yeah. But I think forget not. Forget not where the Lord has taken you. Forget not his goodness. Don't forget his power. Yeah. Don't forget his saving grace. Don't yeah. forget that he's the God who 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 will save anyone. Uh, under any circumstances yeah. with whatever sin that they yeah. carry because he sees he it as sin. Yeah.